Although psychedelics aren't considered addictive and don't appear to cause organ damage or neurotoxicity, there are some short-term side effects, including dizziness, blurred vision, weakness, tremors, and increased blood pressure. Using pooled raw data from eight double-blind, placebo-controlled experimental studies conducted between 1999 and 2008, including 110 healthy subjects who had received between one and four oral doses of psilocybin, researchers found that psilocybin dose dependently induced profound changes in mood, perception, thought, and self-experience. But most subjects describe the experience as pleasurable, enriching, and non-threatening. There were some acute adverse reactions, which were characterized by strong dysphobia, anxiety, panic, but occurred only at the two highest doses of psilocybin in a relatively small number of subjects. All of these acute adverse drug reactions were successfully managed through interpersonal support and did not require psychopharmacological intervention, meaning they did not require a different kind of pharmaceutical in order to be solved. Follow-up questionnaires to this study indicated no subsequent drug abuse, persisting perception disorders, prolonged psychosis, or other long-term impairments of functioning in any of the subjects. The researchers concluded that the administration of modest psilocybin doses to healthy, high-functioning, and well-prepared subjects in the context of a carefully monitored research environment carries an acceptable level of risk. But of course, this still leaves many questions unanswered. Are there certain people who are at higher risk of negative side effects of psychedelic use? How important is the guide in these cases, or is it safe to experiment with psychedelics alone? Right now, the research does not indicate answers to these questions, but the research is growing every single day. And hopefully we will continue to learn more about these substances in order to mitigate risk.